Yeah, you better look at it. We got a defense. Go take. Uh, you know, this is going to be a real hard ball game. We're playing them on the road out there. Uh, what makes this game extremely hard is they've got a new coaching staff. Um, there's not a lot of film that you can evaluate on them. You're guessing. Texas Tech, you know, definitely has an advantage because we don't know what they're going to do. They're first-year staff, first-year coaches. We don't even know how they're going to line up in a punt. We're guessing. You know, we're practicing against both an NFL punt formation, a spread punt formation. We're doing all the things that, that uh, you got to do as a coach. There's a lot of things that, that go into, you know, going on the road and winning in an opposing stadium, and we're going to have them all faced up against this, this, this game. It'd be very exciting, you know, to play these people, but we, gotta, we have to come out strong. You know, Coach Jones has been always been talking about how odds are always against us, but, you know, we expect that going into this game, and I feel like, you know, we're, very, we're a very confident team, and there's no reason that we can't come up with a victory. And we are expecting to go in the tech and beat them, and uh, we're expecting to win every single game, no matter who the opponent is. And uh, we're not gonna be, we're gonna settle for mediocrity. We're gonna go for it all and uh, go for broken. Hopefully, come out the conference championship. The game itself, I've told the players that if we can hang in the first 10 minutes of the game and still be in the game without and acting like we're confident and, and showing poise and, and ad, through adverse situations, then we will have a chance to, to, to finish. I think you'll see this uh, their team way more aggressive uh, coming after you and blitzing and doing a whole bunch more things. Yeah, that, you know, that, that, that is okay because that's how we play. So, you know, it's not going to be a shock to our team to see some blitz. We've seen them all and, uh, you know, hopefully we'll manage the, the game day. Mustangs arrive in the always hostile Lubbock, Texas. If things start to go the wrong way early, the crowd gets into it, their team gets pumped up by it, and it can be hard to stem the tide here. This is really, Jones Stadium has really turned into a tough place for visitors to come play. Because I needed to spend It's a hostile environment. And they've got some passionate, uh, very enthusiastic fans. But it's a man. It's a it's an intense environment. Uh, they're fans. They get into the game, and uh, right when you get in there, you know that hey, it's go time. of guys on this team that are ready to go right now and ready to get on this afternoon against Texas Tech. The Mustang offense started slowly and couldn't keep their defense off the field. 37 yarder from Matt Williams off the left pass. Unbelievable. SMU blocked nine kicks last year. They all get away from this one. Second career sack for Sterling Moore. As for the Red Raiders, Texas Tech moved quickly with constant no huddles and took advantage of an exhausted defense. The Mustang defense continued a theme from last season, blocking two field goal attempts in the first half to keep SMU close. The Mustangs fell behind 14 to nothing after a costly fumble inside their own 20 yard line. Red Raiders bring five men up to the line. Padron under some pressure, steps up, rolls to his left. He can make the first down on his own and then some. 25 20, out of bounds at the Texas Tech 15 yard line. Later in the second, Zach Line punched the ball into the end zone from two yards out to get the Mustangs on the board. But Potts promptly marched his team down the field and tossed a 16-yard touchdown to Detron Lewis for a 21-7 lead at the break. Boy, 
Kyle Padron getting it done here to start the third quarter. Padron out of the shotgun, looking left. Beasley wide open, caught at the two. Touchdown, SMU. Cole Beasley was all alone out there on the left sideline, and he has a touchdown catch of 19 yards. And a four-man rush for SMU. They got pressure to Kieran Davis, throws him down from behind at the 32-yard line. SMU kicker Matt Zemanski had helped SMU gain the momentum by kicking two field goals. One set up by a 92-yard kickoff return by freshman Darrell Fields. Right by Butler, 15, 20, has a seam, 25, breaks the tackle to the 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Get out. Fields is trying to outrun the field to the 15, to the 10, and it'll be tackled at the Texas Tech 8-yard line. With a 35-20 lead, the Raiders faced a fourth and one from the Tech 34 with 9.37 remaining in the game. They'll go on fourth down and four, and they're going to come with four. Left side pass is incomplete, knocked away by Ryan Smith. Looking right, firing through two defenders. Caught by Cole Beasley for a touchdown. A deflected ball right off the defensive back, Jarvis Phillips, and Beasley has another touchdown. Gonna throw it. He finds Bradley Haynes at the 35, up the sideline to the 40, out of bounds at the 41, 42 yard line. Way to stick with the play. Mustangs have a first down on a play that was dead. 2.59 to go, second down four, SMU at their 48. The drone looking left. Now he's gonna go up the left hash, and Alder Robinson catches it at the 42. That'll be a 13 yard pickup. And they'll rush all five. And Padron is under pressure, and he sacked from behind. Fourth down to 21. And Kyle is struggling to get up. Now I think J.J.'s going to come. June's giving the play to J.J. McDermott. But J.J. McDermott is going to possibly throw his first SMU pass. We're essentially going to the bullpen. The base is loaded in a 3-0 count. And they got to hurry. Nine seconds on the play clock when they break the huddle. Not in a rush. They do snap it in time. McDermott looking to throw. There is a flag down at the line of scrimmage. McDermott underthrows Darius and Johnson. Late, the late. Over the minute 34 left. SMU has one more shot at it on fourth and 41 from midfield. Down by eight. J.J. State facing a fourth down and 41 at midfield here in Lubbock. Out of the shotgun, McDermott drops under pressure. Rolls right, steps up. Pressure from behind. He sacked at the 48 yard. That's going to do it because the play clock is matched up exactly with the game clock right now. 35 seconds and counting. Texas Tech is going to pull off this 35-27 win. Pretty good, you know. I know a really tough loss, but just got to go home. Got a short week. Get ready for UAB. That's about it. This is a game that, frankly, I was almost surprised just he was able to hang in this right to the end. You turn the ball over four times and give up three touchdowns that way, but. I think it shows an awful lot about what these guys have down the road for them because they found ways to fight back and stay in this game where they had a chance to tie in the last two minutes.